Hello everyone, welcome back. This is part 15 of the design patterns tutorial. In this session, we will discuss the significance of copy in prototype design pattern. We'll also take a look at the member wise clone method and I clonable interface usage in prototype design pattern. And we'll take a look at an example to implement prototype design pattern. Please refer to the previous parts of the tutorial before proceeding. Now let's see the significance of copying in the prototype design pattern. The idea of using copy is to create a new object of the same type without knowing the exact type of object that we are invoking. Shallow copy and deep copy plays prominent role in copying the objects in prototype design pattern. Creating the required object once and by creating the subsequent required objects by cloning helps reducing the time for creating the objects. With prototype design pattern, based on the requirement situations, we can save memory by cloning the objects. For example, imagine a situation where we need to copy an object which consists of many strings and we all know that string copy is immutable and hence it is a good idea to copy that object rather than creating a new object. Also, in a situation where we need to retrieve some details from database for each time we create an object. In those situations, cloning or copying comes to handy. For example, when we are importing hundreds and thousands of employees and each employee details need to be associated with the company address and other details from the database. In those situations, we can adopt using prototype design pattern where we retrieve the details once and clone it accordingly for each employee object. Let's now understand the significance of memberwise clone method in .NET. The memberwise clone method is part of system.object and creates a shallow copy of the given object. Memberwise clone method copies the non-static fields of the chosen object to the new object. In the process of copying, if the memberwise clone finds if the field type field is a value type, a bit by bit copy of the field is performed. And if a field is reference type, the reference is copied, but the reference object is not. If you have viewed the previous session, you can recollect that we have demonstrated the value type copying as well as the reference type copying. We strongly recommend you to view the previous session of the tutorial before proceeding. Now let's now understand the iClonable interface. The iClonable interface provides with a customized implementation that creates copy of an existing object. iClonable interface contains one member, which is the clone method, and that clone method is intended to provide support beyond member-wise clone method. In some cases, we use clone method and use the member-wise clone within the clone method. Now, if this is confusing at this moment, don't worry. We are going to discuss this in greater detail using simple example. Let's now switch to Visual Studio and see how we can implement the prototype design pattern using these concepts. To make the things faster, I have already created a console application with a partial employee class consisting of ID, name and department ID. I've also created an override to string method to, to print the employee details. To copy these employee details, we need to inherit, either we need to inherit the iClonable interface or we need to create a custom clonable method. To simplify, I have already created another partial class of the same employee and I have inherited the iClonable interface. If you recollect, iClonable interface will have one clone method which returns the object and I have used the memberwise clone to return the current object that is being cloned. In order to test these changes, I have created a simple method called shallow copy and created an employee object and named it as John. I have assigned the department ID as 150 to this employee. Once the object is created, I'm printing the details of this employee to the console. In step two, using the clone method, I have copied the employee John's details to employee Sam. And I have changed the name of this employee Sam to Sam Paul, since the copied object consists the name of John. 
once that is complete i'm printing the output to a console with employee sam's details in step 3 i'm changing the employee john's department id to 161 to see whether this department id propagates to employee sam's department id or the employee sam's department id remains 150 ideally it should remain department id as 150 and the change of these details shouldn't impact employee sam's details let's now run this application notice that in step 1 both john and sam has got the same department id in step 2 once it is cloned and the department id of john is changed the sam's department id is not being affected with this we have successfully implemented the simple shallow copy now let's switch back to the application now let's say we need to enhance this employee object to hold the address details in order to do that i have created an address object with door number street number zip code and country i've also overridden the to string to print the address details of the employee now i've extended the partial class employee and added the address details in the beginning of this session we have discussed that memberwise clone copies the object reference if the field is of reference type and it does not copy the reference object itself in our case address is a field of employee object and is a reference type in order to verify if the address is referenced for the copied employees i have created another method called shallow copy reference in step one of this method we have created an employee named john along with the additional address details once employee is created we are printing the employee details to the console in step two we are cloning the employee john and copying the details to employee sam object we are also changing the department id and address details of the sam so that they are different with respect to the employee john once that is complete we are printing the details to the console in step 3 we are modifying the address details of the first employee which is employee john we are also changing the department id of this employee once that is complete we are printing both employee john and sam's details to the console let's run this application and see the output Notice that the employee details of Sam are changed again, specifically the address details. This is because the address is a referenced property in the employee object and memberwise clone will copy the reference of the address field, not the address object itself. I hope now you have a good understanding of the memberwise clone behavior. If you are wondering how to address this situation of reference copying, deep copy would be a solution for this scenario. Again, it depends on your requirement situation if you need to do a deep copy or shallow copy. Now assume that the address is the address of the company instead of the employee address. In that situation, shallow copy would serve the purpose as the company address remains same for all the employees. Let's now switch back to the application and see how we can implement the prototype design pattern to address both the situations. To make the things faster, I have created an abstract prototype class to implement shallow and deep copy. Shallow copy uses the memberwise clone method which we have implemented in the example earlier. Whereas deep copy can be done in many ways. In this example, Deep copy is implemented by leveraging on JSON serialization to serialize the object and deserialize it back to avoid the memory referencing. To implement this abstract loanable prototype class, I have inherited the same to the employee class. I have also created a new method and named it as prototype demo, which performs the similar steps that we have discussed in the shallow copy method except that it does a deep copy of the object instead of shallow copy let's run this application and see the output 
Notice that the change in address details of the employee John has not impacted the address details of the Sam. With this, we have implemented the prototype design pattern successfully. In the next session, we will discuss solid principles and continue with the structural design patterns. Thank you for listening and have a great day.